She was a health conscious young woman who stayed in great shape. I hadn't been sick in forever. It'd been years. So when Shelby Smith went to work at this trendy boutique and started feeling feverish, her co-workers became alarmed. She was shivering and so cold and didn't know why because she was getting a fever. The 27 year old's fever spiked to a dangerously high 103 degrees. Shelby had strep throat. She figured she'd just ride it out. She says she can't afford health insurance, so she never saw a doctor. Unfortunately, her condition deteriorated. My nose was turning blue, almost purple. Her boyfriend Caleb called 911. Shelby was rushed to the ER. I thought that I was losing her. Yeah, that was the most terrified I've ever been in my life. Her heart, lungs, and brain were failing. I would say that I was as close to death as you can be without dying. The untreated strep throat had developed into a sepsis infection. Her fingers, feet, and toes were turning black. It looked like I was turning into a witch, honestly. Like a creepy witch you would see in like Hansel and Gretel or something. Like they were completely black. Then came the unimaginable. To save her life, doctors were forced to amputate fingers on her right hand and a finger on her left hand. Two toes were also amputated on her left foot. Her stepmom, Carrie, couldn't believe all this started with strep throat. It was just very scary. I mean, we could have lost her for something so small. Now, two months after the surgery, Shelby is learning to do things most of us take for granted. She's even learning to write with her left hand. At Cincinnati's Fort Sanders Regional Medical Center, her occupational therapist, Lisa McBride, is giving her an ultrasound massage to reduce swelling and improve mobility, allowing her to identify and pick up small objects with her eyes closed. So I can't use my fingertip. That's a dice. She's surpassed my expectations already. Shelby says despite what she suffered, she feels lucky to be alive. Every day I see this is a reminder that I have a second chance at life, you know, um, because I could be dead.